वेलकम बैक प्रॉब्लम 3.35 दिस प्रॉब्लम इज टेकन फ्रॉम मैकेनिक्स ऑफ मटेरियल बाय बेयर एंड जॉनसन सिक्स एडिशन द स्टेटमेंट इज इलेक्ट्रिक मोटर एग्जर्ट 500 न्यूटन मीटर टॉर्क ऑन एल्युमिनियम शाफ्ट ए बी सी डी व्हेन इट इज रोटेटिंग एट अ कांस्टेंट स्पीड नोइंग दैट जी इज 27 गीगा पास्कल एंड द टॉर्क्स एग्जर्टेड ऑन पुली बी एंड सी आर शोन डिटरमाइन द एंगल ऑफ ट्विस्ट बिटवीन बी एंड सी एंड बी एंड डी so you can see this is the shaft a b c d where there are two pulleys b and c the motor exert a power of 500 newton into meter and the torque on pulley b is 200 newton while on pulley c it is um, 8 300 newton meter so you have to find the angle of twist in shaft b c and angle of twist between b and this d so let's start with the solution so first we what we will do is that we will find angle of twist between angle of twist between b and c for that what i have to do is that if you cut the beam at uh, sorry this shaft at this point and draw the free body diagram so it will be like this this will be the shaft ab where there is a pulley clear this is shaft a this is b and this is the remaining portion of shaft bc so the torque on it is counter clockwise which is 200 newton into meter so here the torque will be clockwise and this torque will be equal to tor torque bc and by using equation of equilibrium tbc will be equal to 200 newton into meter but opposite in direction to this torque okay so now uh, also you can see the length of bc lbc length of bc is given as 1.2 meter the diameter of bc is given as 44 mm so radius will be c will be c of bc c is radius of bc will be equal to 44 divided by 2 which is 22 mm and in meter it is 0.022 meter also we know that angle of twist of point b with respect to c is equal to torque bc into lbc divided by g into j of bc so what is j of bc so j is polar moment of inertia and it is equal to pi by 2 c power c bc power 4 so pi divided by 2 and c 0.022 power Four. So when you calculate it, you will get polar moment of inertia of rod BC comes out to be three six seven point nine seven into ten raised to power minus nine meter power four. Now you can see that you have this value. You have LBC. You have G and you JBC. So you can just put the value of each and every term. Torque is two hundred. length is 1.2 meter divided by g which is 27 mega pascal uh, giga pascal so 27 into 10 raised to power 9 and j is 367.97 into 10 raised to power minus 9 so when you calculate it you will get angle of twist of point b with respect to c comes out to be 24.157 into 10 raised to power minus 3 radian now we know that 2 pi radian is equal to 360 degree so 1 radian will be equal to 360 divided by 2 pi degree and 1 radian will be equal to 180 degree divided by pi so you can just multiply this theta bc will be in 
in term of degrees it will be 24.157 into 10 to the power minus 3 multiplied by 180 degree over pi and you will get angle of twist uh, between b and c comes out to be 1.384 degree so this is the answer of our first part now we'll move toward our second part and in second part b angle of twist between b and d now what we will do is that we will cut this shaft over here clear and i will uh, draw the free i will when you cut it over here so definitely you can see this is 200 this is 200 the value is 200 this is 200 in counterclockwise this is 300 500 so here you will be having torque c d will be equal to 500 newton into meter so i will write this torque c d I will write it over here. Torque CD is equal to 500 Newton into meter. Length of CD will be equal to 0.9 meter. You can check it over here. And diameter of CD is equal to 48 millimeter. So in so its radius C of CD will be equal to 48 divided by 2 and that is equal to 24 millimeter in meter it is equal to 0.024 meter g is also available there so and what is polar moment of inertia for jcd is it is equal to pi by 2 c c d power 4 so put the value pi by 2 CCD is 0 0.024 power 4 and you will get JCD will be equal to 521.153 into 10 to the power minus 9 meter power 4. Now we will find the angle of twist C with respect to D why because we will first find the angle of twist in shaft cd so c with respect to d will be equal to torque cd into length cd divided by g into j c d so you can just put the values torque is given as 500 length is 0 0.9 divided by 27 g into 10 to the power 9 multiply by jcd is 521.153 into 10 to the power minus 9 this is angle of twist between c and d so c angle of twist comes out to be 31.980 into 10 to the power minus 3 radian so and we know that one radian is 180 divided by pi so 31.980 into 10 to the power minus 3 multiplied by 180 degree divided by pi so you will get this angle of twist between point c and d comes out to be uh, we will check it if this comes out to be it is 1.833 degree now the angle of twist of point b with respect to c will be uh, with respect to d theta b slash d will be equal to angle of twist between b and c plus angle of twist between c and d so i will write it t angle of twist between point d and b and d is angle of twist between b and c plus angle of twist between c and d so b and c is 1.384 degree plus 1.833 degree 
so this is the angle of twist between b and d which comes out to be 3.22 degree and this is the answer of our second part and that was all about this uh, problem 3-35 i hope you have enjoyed this video and you have learned from it those who are new to my channel then subscribe it and don't forget to press the bell icon so that you can get notification about my latest video if you have any question you can ask me in comment section thank you for watching